The Christmas wreath is one of our favourite ways to welcome people into our home during the festive season. Uh, and they're so easy to make. And if you're like me and you enjoy having dry flowers in your home, making them out of beautiful Australian natives means that they dry perfectly and you can hang them up all year round. So what you'll need is a wire craft ring. And if you don't have one of those, you can also use something like a twisted branch in a circle. Some craft wire, twine, a pair of secateurs or sharp scissors, and a selection of beautiful Australian native flowers. You want to prepare some of your flowers and foliage. So with pieces like this, you basically just want to cut them into smaller usable pieces. So we'll just snip that off right there. So to get started, what we want to do is start building a frame of foliage around your wreath. So it's just a matter of using your short little pieces and wiring them on with your craft wire straight onto the frame. So it's up to you and you can cover the whole wreath with leaves all the way around or you can follow a bit more of a modern style and have a bit of a naked ring showing in that as well. We're going to try that today. If you have a particularly branchy bit like this, you can always simply get it back the bits that you don't want to use. So there we are. That's our wreath with just the eucalyptus leaves. And you could use that wreath just like that, but if you're anything like me, you'll want to add some fun to it. So when you're making a wreath like this in summertime, you'll often notice with your foliage that you get a lot of young growth, like that. And if you're planning to dry this or leave this wreath on your door, these tips tend to wilt. So the best thing to do is just simply pick them off so you've just got the strong leaves left behind. So what we're wanting to do is to create mini little bunches of beautiful flowers and foliage which we're then going to attach to our wreath. So just in your hand, grab some little bits of foliage and any interesting flowers that you want to include and create almost like a mini bouquet. And to secure that, we're just using a bit more of the craft wire. Wrapping it around stems like that. We'll make a few more of those. Or five little bunches, it's time to start attaching them to your ring. We just start attaching them with the same craft wire. In a spot that looks nice to us, and we attach them with craft wire. So to add a bit of balance, we're now going to start adding the bunches in the opposite direction. So instead of wrapping your wire right over across the top of your leaves, you actually want to Tuck it in underneath the stems so you hide a little bit of the mechanics. So now it's time to add a few little extra bits to hide all the ugly wire that you can see. And for that, we're going to use these gum nuts. And just to finish off, if you've got any little leftover bits, you can weave them in throughout to cover your wire. So I'm going to do that with twine today. You could choose to hang it on twine or simply hang it straight onto a book. And to add the twine, you can just lay it over the wreath, tuck it under, and pull it through the loop. And there we go. So there we go. And the best thing about this is that it's made completely out of Australian natives, so it'll dry perfectly just in case you want to keep it going all year round. From the team and myself, Merry Christmas from Blue Box Co.